I'm going to run the sink because embossing paste is the right base to get out of. Put those things in the bin there so it doesn't get all sticky. All I will. Stuff once will I put the that. glitter on first? Um, I would put a piece of card underneath that first yeah. of all or a piece of paper. Right, you're in charge. I thought you were offline. No, you're back on. Oh, no, I'm back online. Okay, okay. Yes, I'm just putting on loads of this lovely glitter, and I'm thinking, oh. The thing is, glitter is going to go everywhere. I'm going to be pulling glitter. Don't have to keep talking. Oh, I don't have to keep talking. Don't so have. I, don't I mean, have it's going to be like. Cheek. <laughs> Look, I think it worked. Ooh. It's so glittery. Although Leslie's going to come in and say, no, you've done this wrong. So we'll see. We'll see what she says. She's off washing the stencil. I don't know if we caught that bit on camera. She's off washing the stencil because embossing paste drying on the stencil. Damages it. This is very fine, very pretty glitter. Oh, a little bit of that. Working any better now, Craig? Yes, better. Yells, yells says yes. Jasmine says you're back, but still jumpy. Yells, yells says yes, better. Jasmine says, oh, it's better now. Woo's creation's much better. Thanks, Craig. Hey, everything seems to be back online. <sighs> yeah, I think it does come and go. <gasps> oh, it looks. What do you think? I think it worked very well. Yay! I think I quite like the embossing paste because it's lips in it. It's what they call embossed. Uh huh. All right, that looks really good, Ruth. So go and don't touch it. Don't touch don't it. Just go and put it away. <laughs> and then, because uh, if you're anything like me, you'll end up putting your finger in it. All right, so here I have my um, little bits here. And I've got my background here. It is drying. I'm trying not to push it <clears throat> or touch it even. Um, I'm going to cut a piece of this in white cardstock. So you need to stamp some unicorns. Do you want to use the bottom end of this on the misty? Do that. Before you do that, there's some ink on your mat there. Alrighty. Before, before we started, Ruth said, oh, here, you <laughs> use the big mat and I'll use the little mat. And I went, no, 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 no. And her reasoning? What did I say? No, 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 no. She says she wants to contain my mess. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and Ruth said that I was messier than her. <laughs> well, not untrue. <laughs> I think we're about the same. Yeah, I think we're very oh, similar, dear. Pink, green, blue, and purple, and a nice purple color. Ooh, pink. Let's pick out some colors and see how they go. Oh no, sorry, I'm leaving at the coloring stage. I'm at the stamping stage. Oh, what unicorns am I doing? Oh, it's so difficult, but it's so cute. I think I'm gonna do. I'm probably not going to need all of these, but I'm going to stamp all three of them anyway. That's fine. You can always take them home with you. Why do you do that? Because I'm thinking one going like this and this one. Why don't you take out the stencil? Where's the other stencil here? No, that's not it. You know what I mean? Is it there somewhere? Where's the packet? Here it is. Messy death. And then if you hold that there and then you can kind of visualize where you, your, your unicorns are gonna go. Make sense? Yeah. Watch it. You're off using the 
The noisy tool? Huh? You're off using the noisy tool? Uh-huh. Does this mean if I let you, if I like stamp onto your piece of card, you're going to uh, put them all in for me now? <laughs> Do that, would you? This is true. You wouldn't want me to do the fun bit, would you? I have to say it again near the microphone, you see. Mm -hmm. I keep forgetting the fact that normally I'm wearing I, it. Yeah, normally I wear it. And there's two of us, I can't take it down. Stumpy, stumpy, stumpy. Hi, Amanda. Amanda's here from Pair of Bliss and Friends. Hey. How are you? And for anyone else just joining, um, we have a special guest tonight, Ruth, a friend of mine who's visiting. And um, Ruth's making a card for her niece. niece. And I'm making a card for her nephew, Andrew, who is turning nine next year. We're being ahead, we're gonna be in ahead of the game, aren't we? We are. Um so my chevron zigzaga chevron dies are already cut out. And this is still drying. I can see it's still sh can you still see it shining there mm -hmm. a wee bit? So I'll leave that for a little bit longer. I've got my frame die from my slimline quartet. Leave that there. And I just need to colour in my little guys. So whenever you get that stamped, we'll slice that in two so that I can colour in. We'll have a colour colour us on. There you go, madam. Thank you. All right. Now let's move these out of the way as well. I seem to have a bit of a sticky mess on my mat, but that's what. See? See? Have a little see? See? Stop it. There you go. That's better. Thank you. Let's get rid of this sticky mess. Right. Jasmine says, I have used the clear liquid pearl and there's definitely a shimmer in the ink smooshing. I'm going to see if the silver one comes up more. Ooh, that sounds cool. That does sound um, cool. Do you want to put the Copics in between us or are you happy to like, reach over? I hope you divide your messy area from my messy area. Right. This is like, there's a line in the room, <laughs> don't cross the line. <laughs> I know it's been nearly a week, but we haven't really got fed up with each other that much, have no. we? No. I don't think we'd ever get fed up with each other. No, I don't think so. To be honest, we've kind of been friends for too long. No. Not too long. Just long. Never too long. Never be enough. Although <laughs> we haven't even played any board games. Shocking. None? Yeah. Shocking, shocking, shocking. Oh, I'm so pleased with my first choice of colours because I think these are actually going to work. Oh, look at that. <gasps> You're learning. Perfect. You're learning. Right. So tell me something that you've learned from being here this week that you didn't know before. Like work was giving me a headache. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. What have I learned this week? Um... How to spend money in Happy Doodle when you're oh. right in front of it. <laughs> it's so good. It's easy, is it? It's very easy. We haven't learned self self restraint. Self, self restraint, yeah. definitely not. Like, there's nobody on this video could criticize me for spending money in Happy Doodle when everything is just right there. Yeah, I uh, challenge you to come here. That's just my way of getting them to come and visit. You see, yeah. I dare you. Dun, dun, dun. Um, is it is it Saturn that has the rings? What colour is it? We didn't learn that at school, did we? <laughs> We're gonna we go probably did, but yellowy red. Who knows? This is gonna be our, the answer of today. We were talking about um teachers. Ruth and I went to an all girls school. Voila, big up for the all girls school. Um, and we were talking earlier this week about school, what we liked about school, teachers we remember. So my question to you guys is did did you enjoy school? Did you enjoy school? Did you um like 
going to school and also tell us a little bit about any teachers that you had whether they were dragons or whether they were really good one any teachers that particularly touched you and touched your heart you know that kind of thing and if we have any teachers on the street we'd like to know that wouldn't you Ruthie? Uh, we would mm -hmm. my sister-in-law's a teacher is she she's primary school teacher oh nice i admire teachers like yeah who was your favorite teacher Ooh. at our school that's oh, a big question favorite teacher mm. you're gonna end up saying someone that i ever had well, you see, I liked a lot of them for different reasons. Like, so mm -hmm. Mr. Borgrave amused me. He was hilarious. I mean, he was funny. Miss Strong was kind of one of those teachers that you just didn't really want to be bad for because she was so, she's like, so nice. So nice, but yeah, we were still bad. So, Mr. Borgrave was our history. history teacher, and he was this, like, how do you describe him? He was this little guy. He like, named everything. He was yeah, but vis visually, so people can oh, visualize. Okay. He was this. He was quite short, I think. Short, a little stocky, bit stocky and plump. A, a mustache, yeah, and like dark hair, dark hair thinning. And he was just like smiley, yeah. And um, he was. Do you know what? He was kind of adorable. He was, but I think a lot of the people in our class just took him. Like, I don't know about your class. They probably did too. And, and he kid? named everything. His bin was called Lucy. Yep, the his overhead projector because it was overhead projectors back then. Rufus. Rufus. The yep. bin. Bin was Lucy, wasn't it? Bin was Lucy. Well, what was it was called? Yeah, was it? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I can't remember. Those were the ones that stuck out in my mind. It was just really sweet. And Miss Strong had like super thick red hair. She was our religious studies teacher. She was our religious studies teacher. That's right. She was also my form teacher one year. All oh, right. Okay. I had Mrs. Adams, I think, for a form teacher. Science Mrs. Adams. Because mm -hmm. there was a Maz, Miss Adams, wasn't there? Mm-hmm. I never had her. I had Mr. Johnson. Mrs. Adams just I had a um I had a like an ear piercing at the top of my ear here. Rebel. I know. And Mrs. Adams was just like, Lizzie, take that out. And I remember just every time I went to her every time I go to her class, she'd be like <laughs> <laughs> and then by the time you left it was out <laughs> I should take it out again <laughs> so be it so be it who else I like Mr Calhoun Mr Calhoun was very good actually and did you know this I didn't know this after school what he was a board gamer back that, then that totally tracks so. yeah back then he was a board uh, gamer yeah mm. That totally tracks. Um, and how, how did you not, how did you find that out? Like, that's somebody told random. me that's what, and he started a Facebook group for board gamers and ask him or something years ago or something. I can't remember, but I remember somebody telling me that. I was like, oh, that makes sense. It does. He was the kind of guy that you would walk in and like on the screen, on the screen, on the blackboard, not even a whiteboard, blackboard, there would be like a riddle. Yes. And, and then you just walk in and you're like, what's that? And he'd just sit there smug and be like, has anyone figured it out? Nope. Yeah. And then he was really, really intelligent. He was very smart, didn't he? He not have a really high IQ. Mensa. Like, he yeah. was like, like, Mensa. He was like Mensa, whatever yeah. the thing is. He was like really intelligent. But also like just super nice. And he was English. So I remember doing Rips of Wrath with him. Romeo and Juliet, maybe, or Hamlet, or something like that. I can't remember. Macbeth, Macbeth, maybe. Did you ever have Mr. Cahoon? You must have I had Mr. Cahoon at A level stage. Oh, I had an A level English. Mm. Do, do you else done English? Mr. Manny with the beard. Mr. Cartwright. Oh, no. I never had him, so I must have. I didn't Cahoon have him. My memory's shocking, guys. Because we're, we're old. Shh. Um, I did, was asking Leslie earlier though. It's big birthdays next year for all of our group. I know. We're just we're just chat the way here. Let me see. So I know. Jasmine says, "Hey Amanda, Pear Blossom Press says good. Hi Ruth. Hey Jasmine. Jasmine says I hated school law. <gasps> well, I think our teachers liked. It. I think our teachers loved to hate us though. To be fair, because we weren't. We weren't. Us. Oh come on. 
we weren't we weren't bad students we really weren't bad students but like we used to do things so we went to an all girls school it was it was posh or tried to be posh but it had lots of nicknames so it, it was wasn't prestigious. Posh. It was prestigious yes it was and like so we don't we, we were all like to the the principal we were all like oh we want to raise money you know for charity and all this so she was all like that's fine and then what, what we did <laughs> was leslie bought some clean pants or what are they in America? Snickers yeah. in America, yeah. Underwear. And wrote um, pants to poverty mm -hmm. on them with like gel ink, and we wore them on our head all day. Yeah, we were going to pants to poverty. Pants to poverty, and we were getting money. In. And we were getting sponsorships yeah. to wear pants on our head. All day. <laughs> that was great. I, Instead of saying, I think they love to hate us. I have distinct memories of that, like real, real. I still have some yeah. of the pants. You do not. I do. You're, they were they were brand new, by the way. Everybody. You are a hoarder if you've got. I one. have a shoebox of stuff from high school. It's shocking behavior. I do, and then we have this this book as well that we started for our girls weekends. We do try to. We need to organize one of those. We do try to get together with the girls once a year. We did pre COVID. It's been a long time. It has. Doing that. And what we do is we just kind of write in random things that happened on the random weekends in this book. And we have a couple of pages for each year. A couple of inside jokes. Very cool. See, now I'm all annoyed because I had four colours in my background and I need a fifth one for the uniform. No, I think you should just do it like a light grey or something. Or do you know what I think you should do? You should use BG10 and I would just do like along the edges like this. That's not a unicorn, but I do along the edges and then I would blend it out with the white so that I on the unicorn. Oh, I forgot to put the name back on. I always forget. Can you remind me to put my timer on? Okay. <laughs> and then what I think you should do once you blend it out is use the glitter brush marker. <gasps> The Stella one. Although maybe it's going to be too glittery if it's glitter unicorns on top of glitter things. Would it be? Is it ever such thing as too much glitter? Well, well is there such a thing as like pop. Mm, mm, is there not? Mm. Mm. <laughs> four year old. This is true, not for a four year old. What colour is a horn on a unicorn? Um, White, brown, gold. Whatever. You know what? I can't remember the last time I saw a unicorn. So I, I can. I will tell you a funny story about a unicorn. Go on then. Right. So about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. um, my brother and my father decided it'd be a really good idea to change Stop cows. Stop tapping on the microphone. Yep. Change cows from field to field okay. at seven o'clock in the morning. Because okay. I mean, what else would you do at seven o'clock in the morning? Sleep. Correct. But this was the decide. This was the decision. So I had to go down. We were moving them from one farm down to another and there's a house that's in between us so i was down there and there's a gap and i was kind of capping there for the cows and i look around capping, capping. adjective Ooh, no clapping i thought you said capping no oh, you call capping. It capping. is that when you're like don't come this way no go this way no go go this way okay. so i was doing this and out of the corner of my eye i see this movement and i'm like what is that and i turn around my neighbor's three-year-old daughter is coming along the yard on a motorized unicorn <laughs> And it's like this height. So, well, you can't see. So it's like oh it's like waist height. So it is. And she's just like, come, come. Like, I thought I was listening. I am not kidding. Seven o'clock in the morning, this electronic unicorn. I don't think that It was so funny. <laughs> so yes, I seen a unicorn two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. There you go. <laughs> Cannot argue with that. I was like, I have seen it all. Where's my Where's my um? Oh, I keep do tapping. I I have that. I need to stop that. You do need to stop. Where's the clear for blending this, this one? This one. Uh, so we're doing a little bit along the top of the unicorn. Just give it a little, little bit of color. Mm hmm. I think I'm nearly done. 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 Color in this man. Um. Do you know who I loved? Mrs. McGuire. Oh, Mrs. McGuire was great. Let me get my comments back. Woo's um, Woo said I hated school as I got bullied, but I oh. had a teacher we called Mrs. H for textiles and we loved her. Well, that's the thing. All it takes is one, I think. One teacher to... Well, that's not true. I mean, it wouldn't it be great if all of them were, were great, but I think a lot of them these days are just focused on... Did we never have any really bad teachers, though? I think we did. Bad, but not bad. Bad. I mean, we had. Be careful in the name. <laughs> we had Mr. Maguire, the science teacher, who was just a bit weird. I never had him, actually. Okay. 
and then we had um Miss Stevenson, the art teacher, who oh. also was just a bit weird, but she was harmless. Like, I don't think there was any teachers that I was like, oh, actually, I do know someone oh, really? who I would, if I could turn back time, I would not be in his class. And it was a teacher that looked like um, Mr. What's his name from The Simpsons, and you're going to know exactly who I mean now, don't you? Like math teacher, teacher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thought he was all right. I had him for math. I didn't know Mr. I had him for math. I thought he was all right. So the story goes, and my listeners will know this already, I think, um, that I had Mrs. McGuire for a long time, and then I did not do ad maths at GCSE level because whenever it came to picking GCSEs, ad maths was in the same as art i think mm. so i chose art oh obvious name <laughs> and um i did not do ad maths which means additional maths so when i chose maths at a level and um, everyone there was two people there was me and karen dobbins dobbins is that her surname uh -huh. Both of us had not done ad math. But when we started that class, Mr. What's his face? Don't oh. know. It is Mr. Johnson. I wasn't going to say his name, but never mind. <laughs> I didn't say it. I want you said it. Okay. Um, was like, he would just be like, right, everybody knows all about cos, sine, and tan. So we'll just like, do it. And we were like, raising our hands, like, I don't know what those words mean. And he was just like, okay and then did not oh, really no and um, do you know the first when we did a levels we do you know the mock tests and things we done mm -hmm. and i was really worried about my maths test and i was convinced that i was going to fail and um i went in my mom knew that i was as they say in northern Ireland, up to high dough how would you explain that That's just a bit anxious really okay. really anxious about my math test. Oh, gone too far in, sorry. Um, my math test. And I, she was like, just do what you can. I was like, but I just don't know. And I actually loved math and I love learning, but you can't learn something that someone's not gonna teach you. Like, do you know what I mean? And there's only so much you can do as a kid when you didn't even really have internet back then. <laughs> <laughs> now you're making us really old now, I Leslie. Know. Well, it's true. Um, and then um, I remember getting my maths results through or my results through and um, i got an e mm -hmm. was the first time ever that little and i was like <laughs> no it meant that i passed it oh and yeah. um my mum went into the parent teacher meeting mm -hmm. how you getting on i'm done okay you need your you need to cut them out yep my mum went into the parent teacher meeting and went to go and speak to him and he was there like this hello mrs Carter. that's not how he spoke at all and um, <laughs> and there's a bit like well i'm really disappointed in that and my mum laid into him and was like can you please explain to me how my childhood gets a's and b's and all other subjects why she is more excited about getting an e in math than all the other a's and a stars that she's got in her result her report card this is nothing to do with her this is to do with the teaching and i think Yay. he absolutely scared the crap out of him and um oh after, mummy culter yeah i've never seen her that mad before and after that Karen and I had on lunch times and break times we were brought into um, Mrs McGuire's classroom and Mrs McGuire taught us oh Mrs McGuire was a star, oh, she was amazing she basically taught us everything that he should have taught us over lunches lunch times and break times but he didn't have time to teach us because it wasn't in the syllabus so yeah that's where i love her and then it was just one of those like i think three weeks or something we we, we were there and both karen and i were like oh we totally get it now and then everyone was like there you go there's my little drama story who else is on is your comments working 
Hi, Amanda. Marcy says hi, Ma Marcy. Marcy is there. I'm too busy ranting. So I'm sticking on my zig of the guys at the bottom of this. So I've added some tape to the bottom. And I'm going to add these in. What I have learned this week actually is that I really want one of these Happy Doodles <gasps> die cutting machines because <laughs> Leslie brought this out literally four weeks after I had bought a different branded mini die cutting machine and it's not as pretty and it's not as easy to use. I'm not naming what it is. But I really wanted, and I was telling Leslie today, I can't, I just can't justify it until I need to buy plates for my other one. And as soon as I need to buy plates for it, it's not getting bought. The Happy Doodle one's getting bought. <laughs> yeah. It is easier to use. It sits better on the table. It sits yep. flatter. It sits more solid. And it is, it is definitely easier to use. So that is something I have learned something that this week, yes. For the best. For the best. I get into a little zone. I do go quiet. I'm very sorry. But he, I'm like, precision. My OCD is kicking in. You want it to be perfect. And please learn that you don't have to use the death out of the memo tape. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mm -hmm. thought you were saying I was using too much memo tape there. So that I'm just repeating using it. Yeah, I just think that <sighs> loses its so, tackiness. It does lose the tackiness. It's kind of like purpose of one, it. Yeah, well, that's kind of like <laughs> yeah. one of the, one of one of its features. But it does mean then that I feel like you you take more risks with it than I do. <laughs> Maybe is what I'm trying to say. But, I mean, I push it. It works. So it's good true. tape. Good tape. What do you think so far? Oh, it's very pretty. Do you like it? It's very colourful. I think mine's going to be all pastels and yours is going to be all strong colours. That's good. That's very good. Yin and yang. That's nice. I'm trying to decide whether I want to bring in like some cloudies. A cloudy work nice. Do you have clouds at night? Is it a night sky? No, it's not a space sky. It's just a space sky. Do you have clouds in the sky in that space? I don't know. Let me lay these out and then we'll make my mind up. Mind up. Make I'm my mind. I'm going to check my and see is it dry. Oh, it's so sparkly. Jasmine says, I love my Happy Doodle mini die cutting machine. I don't think this is dry yet. I think you might need to wait. Yeah. I wouldn't risk it. No. For a biscuit. It's not dry at all. No, I can feel underneath. Mm -hmm. You could put it in the boiler room. Ooh. Because that's, you know, how it's like the boiler room all over the house. Yes, Ruth was complaining that it was too hot hand. in my house. It was warm at the end. Actually, I have to say that even though it's Scotland and even though it is october ruth and i both ate our lunch outside in the garden today in t-shirts oh didn't we we did i can't believe that crazy it was very nice kind of sad global warming <laughs> what am i doing now then well i need to get my are you going to have a sentiment I on am your going card to have a sentiment all right so where is the messy death stencil? Here it is. So your card is going to have the messy death sort of pal, yes? Yep. And you're going to have some of your unicorns. You unicorns. might have two, you might yep. have three. Okay, so maybe two, maybe three. And then are you going to... Um, the card you saw had the scalped imperial frames panel and then that was on top of a card blank. Do you remember that? What is your colour that is lighter than teal? I have an ice blast. It's kind of like this. So maybe nice. the one. Oh, but then, oh no, yellow. I need to get yellow in this because yellow is your favourite colour. Okay. Do I do the this yellow? This yellow one? is called Sunny Side Up and it's my favourite. There's also a more brighter yellow, which is um, Banana Split. Just remember that yellow is your favourite colour. So I think I feel like I should. Does, know does or not, Andrew or... have a favourite colour? Yeah. Blues and reds. He, he's a big fan of Mr. Tumbles. You know the colour? Yeah. The Tumble bag and everything. 
You could have done a, a card of spots all over it. I could have, but Spaceman. Spaceman. I always wanted to go on the spaceman. Right. I don't know about Self, self, self. Word on the street is that Ruth's going to um, organize and alphabetize my days. <laughs> well, they are alphabetized already. They're just. I just don't know what it's called. What's itself? Imperial. It'll be in the Eppers, you know that much. Yeah. Size we're doing. I'm gonna put some glue. I think it's gonna have to be the biggest size. I'm gonna have to be the biggest one. Like it was made for. Huh? Like it was made for. Absolutely. Do -do -do -do. Is anybody else out there creating and crafting along with us? Jasmine is using her pearls. Oh, I never did use pearls on this. What do you think? Is maybe pearls is wrong, maybe a card for Anne is the wrong card to use the pearls on. I actually have some um what are they called? Dream drops? Dream drops, I think they're called by um Nouveau. And they have a pearlescent, like a pearly, creamy kind of pearly finish to them. Oh, I think this yellow is gonna to be too yellow, is it for all the pastels? Maybe mm. butterscotch. We better just put it back in in the box and we'll use I'll use it for something else another day. Or put it in your own box and take it home and use mm -hmm. it for something. Ruth's been um. Didn't we have an together? Die cutting things and going. Oh yeah, I'll take that home. Uh, just before we started the show, we uh, Ruth went. I think I broke this, but it was uh, my ATG gun. She didn't break it. It just ran out of tape and I haven't had a chance to uncover the uh, the tape and get it loaded yet. So old school double sided sticky tape moments just now. I have to be honest, that tape gun scared me before using it. I used it the first time. I was like, oh, I'm so scared. But using it for like a day and um, it's, it's very good. And now you're fine with it. I'm fine with it. You're so brave. Yes, I think this will give it a more definite border. No. Ooh, that's a little bit on the tight side. I'm gonna go for a slightly thinner tip. I think I'll use the red tip. The red tip seems pretty uh, robust. Can I turn next week, Leslie? It is. What's your plans? Work, 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 work. What's your plans? Well, Wednesday, Monday. Oh, yes. Home and Tuesday, like a three-hour journey to the boat. So uh, you might not be able to hear because Ruth's quite far away from the microphone. My Ruth's going to a wedding on Monday. What are you wearing? A red dress, tell me. Red dress. Lady in red. It's a it's a crimson red. It's not like a bright red. It's quite a nice red, actually. What's quite an autumn kind of red. Like a like a like a like a barn door. Yeah. I only oh. understand in colours, Ruth. Um, Is it like a like a candied apple, like a barn door? It's a barn door. No, a fired barn brick, door. maybe. Oh, a fired brick. Yeah, it's nice. not red. red Almost it's like this. No, it's a wee bit a wee bit pinker than that, but nice. yes. Like this? <laughs> uh, no, not bright as that. No, I'm just joking. Right. And uh, Amanda from Pear Blossom says that she is working on the craft room. Fiddly bits. What bits are you working on? You've been working on storage solutions this week, haven't we? We have. And it pleases my OCD a lot. 
It'll only please you until you go home and see that yours isn't as Well, you see, this is the thing though, Leslie, because, I mean, I've already ordered a lot of the things that you have That's done. That's true. You your... were like, oh, I like those labels. How did you do them? I'll order yep. them. <laughs> well, I have one of those label machines, so I'm going to do that. And, and a, then we've and got the vellum sheets for the... The pockets. The, the, they turn out very well on the vellum sheets when you print them out because they're not shiny. It's not vellum. So... It's um vinyl. Vinyl, sorry. Mm-hmm. So these turned out very well. So we've ordered some of those sheets. But yes, I'm laughing because... You say that I'm going to go home and be all disappointed, but I've put in you'll an just, order. You'll just be excited for the well, for yours to be like that. Correct. I've put an order in that's got the tear sheets. Put my nice new happy doodle card stock. Ooh. I've got some all the colours. I'm sorry. All the colours have to be bought. I'm not sorry, actually. Not even the slightest. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, sorry. What am I doing here? Card and the card now to put this onto, is that right? Cutting holes in the baseboard so I can hide the cord out to my desk. Oh, oh yeah. Good idea. Good shout. Uh, Ruth was actually saying, Ruth, what were you saying about the trash bin situation when you get your new desk? Do you want to share with everyone what you said? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm going to put a hole in the desk, I think. I'm going to put like a hole just about the size of the what you're doing there for your cable. And I might even try to get a cap that's on it. So that when you're like trying to get rid of litter or trying to get rid of bits, you can just kind of like and then have a bin in the cupboard underneath. That's what I'm thinking. So you literally just go like, whoop, 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 yeah, and then down the hole. Yeah, and then down the shoot. Because I'm building a house, I'm gonna put one of the, the beam Hoover systems in. Oh, and yeah. what my brother and sister has is a wee kickboard underneath their sink in the kitchen. So if they're sweeping the floor, just kick it and the it just goes, disappears. <gasps> so I'm gonna have that in my bat and my craft room too because that's a good idea so are you going to have your craft room upstairs i'm going to have my craft room upstairs and are you going to have um what is the word um wooden floors uh yeah some sort of wooden floors not sure maybe maybe tile maybe lino 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 is quite easier to walk on i think than wooden floors softer okay but it has to be something that my carpet at home at the minute is Double size sticky tape just does not come off. It. It just doesn't come off with that papery. It doesn't come off. And then where am I getting my card stocking from? Just to make start putting this card together. Um, are you wanting to put that on a piece of white card? Yes. So here we have cards that are sitting in here. Yes. So those are. That's that probably the one. You want to fold that at the four and a quarter. Just put mm-hmm. things in the right box. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Am I not tidy enough after myself? Well, you're tidy enough, but just not in the right place. <laughs> Jasmine says, gotta have all the heavy doodle colours. You word. really do, actually, yeah. because having like... So, oh, here's the other thing that I did discover this week. What does? Background for my wedding card. No blending required. It was all done with heavy doodle cardstock. So, like, mm-hmm. the... Sky was your blue color. Ice blast. Ice blast. The tree. The houses was done in the gray. Um, oyster shell. And the yellow for the lights behind the house. Uh, sunny side up. And the red roof. Can't remember. Oh, it was cherry on top. Yep. And the green. Did we do green uh, grass at the front? Yes, we did. Yes. The cider and all I think was done that green. was um kiwi crush. Yep. Mm-hmm. So the whole thing was done. The only. Colouring that I done or the blending that I done was the bride and groom. Yeah. The rest of it was all done with heavy doodle cardstock, which I was very impressed about. Yeah, it's amazing. Because sometimes when you use card and just plain card and not coloured in, it can look a bit flat. Flat. Yeah. But yours didn't. I didn't think it did at all. I thought the colours were bright. <laughs> Leslie, you told me four and a half. Did I not do I four did and not. Half? I told you four and a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> just put it back and pick out another one. <laughs> I'm getting blamed here. <laughs> well, you told me four and I a quarter. Told you four and a quarter. You told me four and a quarter. <laughs> then we had a big conversation, <laughs> and I went with four and a half. You're like, I'm gonna rewind that video and listen and see what you actually did. No, I think you probably did say four and a quarter. But I just had a wee conversation. I oh, know happens to be fair i did the exact same thing this afternoon i don't know what i still don't know what i've done wrong <laughs> I was making a card and oops measured it 
fully convinced that I done my math, my math right, and when I put it all together, the car yeah. was like a full centimeter right. That's <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know what I'm doing. To be fair, um, I'm sure Morgan has done the, exactly the same several times, and I'll be like, just put it back, and I'll, and I'll be like crafting and just find all these. Oh, I'm gonna parts find all these random things. folded ones. Louise is here. Hi, I'm late to the party. Just finished watching the first part. Oh, thanks for joining us for this part. When you're done, well, your um, glitter hasn't um, hasn't dried. dried as yet. I'm going to go and check it now. Let's. I'm going to add the sentiment to this. I think. <clears throat> and do zooming by to say. And that's going to go down at the bottom here, I think. I think that would be fun. And I'm going to see if that'll fit on the... Um, I wouldn't push it if you think it's like anyway so damp. It's getting there, but I think it's just not because you'll only end up wrecking it. No. We will show the finished product tomorrow. Mm hmm when I get the unicorns all on together. I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to hope we can make it work. Hope we can make it work. I'm going to cut this out first and foremost. I'm using the overly excited guys for this one. Oh. You want to see what else I did today? Yes, but you need to say it closer to the microphone. Hey, yes. guys! Hey, Watching uh, from my warm and comfortable bed. We'll probably be fast asleep in a minute. <laughs> What's wrong? Made. Wait for it. Wait for it. I made this today. I made myself a little watch pack. All the peppy doodle. All the colors look because I have in the past been making something or went to order something, been completely convinced that I was ordering the right color mm -hmm. when I ran out of stuff. Mm -hmm. And turns out that it wasn't to look a big reveal. I just put a sticker. Put a sticky on it because then I know it's Happy Doodle's card. Mm -hmm. And I've put all the names. That go clever. On the on the front on the front of each of the cards the middle so, like corn flour and plum pudding hint of mint so now i have a little and i just think it looks so pretty it does look very pretty and yet again look at the colors. jasmine so, says so cute so cute so yeah so i made that happy days i'm going to stamp this guy on here. Is this going flat? And then the unicorn pop out. I think that's a good shout. Yeah, that's yeah. a good shout. Um, I have, um, I wanted to mention that some people mentioned or asked the question a while ago about cap and puller order. I have placed a cap and puller order today. Give me a week or so and it will be here. I know that um I'm very excited to get cap and colored inks. We oh you I'm supposed to make I haven't used them yet, I haven't used them yet actually, but I'm very excited by the colours. Oh they're so good. Um Catherine is also releasing new colours this week. And um, I did go ahead and ask her if she was releasing the new colours in the minis, because we only start the minis in the heavy mode school. She said that minis will not be out and um, will not be the new colours of minis will not be released for about another six months. However, six, months six weeks, six months, six it takes months. them a long time, sadly. But I know what it's like. I waited on my design and my um, die cut machine for nearly a year. Oh, wow! And then you were four weeks late for my order. I know. <laughs> And I, I looked Amanda. for ages as well for Amanda a wee mini die cut machine. No. If only we had picked up the phone. Do you know what? I'm fair. I'm not away yet. There could be one brought home. <laughs> uh, Plus you've got your car. You don't I've have got to my ship. car. Don't mm. have to ship it. 
I actually think this it's probably car, the one. This car has actually been like the excuse. I mean, <laughs> I mean the the logical reasoning behind many purchases this week. <laughs> well, Amanda, our last time I was restricted here. because I flew over whenever you lived down in England. I flew yeah. over that time and. And weight restriction is a right pain. Well, you see, it and it, it's it was size as well because it's a hand baggage. Because oh. I was only over for the weekend. The only had. You did it right this time. I did. The bank doesn't agree. Actually, my yeah. bank does agree. It was fine. Your bank's it's fine. Good. It's good. Um... You were on holiday. No, well, I did say, I did say, and I told you this when I came over. Just because we're friends for <clears throat> years <laughs> doesn't mean I'd buy your stuff if it wasn't good. Oh, yes, so, that and I've actually said that to people back home, so they're all like... Um, there you go. True real-life testament from Ruth. Yeah. Just because I love you doesn't mean I'm going to buy your stuff yeah. if it's crap. <laughs> well, well, <I> would. <laughs> well, you wouldn't buy a Catherine Puller Zinc if they were crap. I know, that's true. <laughs> I love them. They're very good. And I wouldn't stock them in the store if they were either. Amanda wishes she could come and craft with us. I wish you were here too. I think Leslie should do like a retreat weekend or something. You know for what? Us I actually have been thinking about that. I've been thinking about it for a long time. The only thing is, I don't know. I don't know. So tell me, tell me, if we were to do a retreat, I probably have to organize a hotel or something. I don't know. I would say something like an Airbnb or something because, but it'd have to be the right. That's only going to be like six or seven people. You think I would be way more mm, to be on Airbnb? There's there is like big houses. The problem with the hotel is that it's not very personal. It's not. Contained. It's not, and it's not contained and. You don't get to hang out as as much in a hotel. Yeah, you need communal space, don't you? So me and my aunt went to a belting day over in it was a day, not a, it wasn't a whole weekend retreat, but she does whole weekend retreats. But mm -hmm. over in Scotland last it's year, pre COVID. <laughs> yes, over in Scotland. Okay. Pre COVID. And we went to her house and it was just it felt more relaxed because but no, to be fair, Pretty she had the whole studio. It was Moy and Mackay. Uh, so the woman who, who does the felting, so right. she's quite a famous felter, so she does a lot of landscapes and everything and her felting. So we went to a class that she was doing. It's an all day one. Um, now, she has a big studio and all because felting takes up a lot of space and stuff. So mm -hmm. that's kind of why I would be thinking that. Uh... But how many people was at the retreat? She had 12 there that day. No, my little house is not that big. <laughs> no, 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 but, no, that's what I'm saying, no, because she had the, the whole, she does, she is catered for it, she does retreat yeah. stuff, and then she also has a house, I think, in Spain or somewhere, and she does some retreat stuff, that's why I'm saying, if you could get a, like a, a big house, place a big, that did that. yeah, because there is places on, on Airbnb that does, like, sleep 16 people and everything, mm-hmm, but a lot of those places are, like, sleep 16 people, but that's, like, three people in a room, double beds, <laughs> do you know what I mean, yeah, this is true too. Which is fine if you're me and you. I'm adding some we'll of these. Do you know that these it. are glow in the dark? Oh. Do you think he'll like that? Oh, he definitely will. Hope we don't fall off on him. Yeah. We'll have to think about that. Amanda says, you can take me sightseeing too. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Do a big one. I'll fly over, says Pearl Blossom Press. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Jasmine be says, I'll be there, I'll camp. Oh, last time I went camping, never again. We got rained on and rained on and rained on. It was shocking. With? We went with just a bunch of friends that we have back home. So Joy McElroy, her brother, brothers, I think, and just some of their friends and some of our friends. And we thought it was a great idea to organize a camping trip in Ireland. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So one of the guys, again. <laughs> yeah, one of the guys pitched his tent. So yes. when we arrived, it wasn't raining. Nine o'clock at night, it still wasn't raining. So we had the tents and all up, sitting around the campfire and then it starts. So we mm -hmm. all head off to our tents. Mm -hmm. We're all in our tents. I mean, my brother and I were fine. We had one of the big six men tents with like a, a bedroom and a 
middle bit and then another bedroom and we yes. both had air mattresses so we had like a whole half each mm -hmm. so there was no like you weren't pressed against the side of the tent oh, or anything that. like that i know so the water wasn't running down so we were fine <laughs> our friend dave <laughs> he pitched the tent in where he thought was it under a tree <laughs> it was worse so he got like the low ground the low ground and he was facing up and there was a stream <laughs> No water running in it, but did shortly, and it was literally streaming into his tent. But do you not remember when we went to mm -hmm. Castle Valenruth the first time I went to Castle Valenruth? Do you remember that? Rained. It rained. rained, and it was literally like we woke up and it was this much, and everybody in tents had to go around and knock on the door of people who had um who had caravans. Yes, that was funny. We were young then. We were young then. Okay, I think. Oh, this, Leslie, what have you done? It's okay, you can just cut out that other panel with the same dye and then it put it in the inside. <laughs> I'm sitting holding my head now, I've done it again. No, you're fine. I thought I was being all prep. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Does anybody else realise my mistake? She is stuck on the frame. Why do I put a background? <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck on a background without the frame, but no, it's fine, I promise you, because what you'll do is you'll use the same dye yep. to die cut this panel. And it will cut out a frame around the outside yeah, of it. It'll cut, cut the inside square. bit too. And we'll slide that in. But we're not going to probably do that till tomorrow, to be honest. Because that's can't, still because a little especially bit. Especially going through the dye machine. Oh, no. You're right, Megan. Right, Meg? No, no. It'll be very pretty when it's done. Yeah, I agree. All right. I think we're going to have to call that night because this farmer's girl gets <laughs> up early in the morning. Don't you? I do. So uh, she's she's been... Uh, Heading off to bed, getting her jammies on. You're, you're not in your jammies. No, I'm not, but I was close. <laughs> Is it okay? I'm wearing my uh, sustainable clothing, so I am. I'm very green and environmental. So it's a company called This Is Unfolded. So you actually order your clothes and then they make them. But it's not like, it's not like a rich person, you know, so like they do collections. So they're about to, they're about to release their collection three. So look it up. So this is Unfolded. They're about to release unfolded. their collection three. I've yeah. never heard of that. That's really I will cool. show you it. So it's my friend. Him and his company uh -huh. started it so and it's really it's all really good because they support families in like bangladesh and stuff like that there so that's really cool clothes. and it's it's really good quality like it is, really is good actually quality. that's really thick and this is like it's washed out this is how much i've worn because like i've worn and i've worn and worn so, yeah it's a nice cut i like the uh the mm -hmm. cut across as well you don't really get things at that shop no, anymore it's very good yeah um cool well yes it, ruth did say to me earlier Did I get away with wearing my pajamas on a live stream? And I nearly did it, but then I thought, when I walk over here, you're going to see my pajama bottoms. See pajama butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. Let me have a little zoom zoom here. And um, Ruth's car is uh, unfinished. <laughs> But um, well, what what is your Instagram handle, Ruth? Maybe people will take a look, Aaron follow Borders. you, and see that card. Maybe you finish it tomorrow, mm -hmm. yes, and then um, you can post a picture. So it's Earn Borders. borders. Yep. E R N E. Is there an underscore? Yeah. Underscore Borders. There you go. I hope that Andrew will like this space card. Um, we are celebrating Space Week over at Heffy Doodle. So come on over. A lot of these products are on special offer uh, for the next few days. All right. I'm going to leave you guys there. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you, Ruth, for uh, entertaining the, us. I'll do a half card. <laughs> It'll be finished. It will be finished tomorrow. Yes. It will be finished tomorrow. You've got big plans as well, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Peach. Ice cream. Crafting, reveal reel games, reveal reel. Yes, I think we're well, never going to get that all done tomorrow. It's going to be a wee bit too adventurous, but we'll 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 see. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend, and we shall see you. Or well, I'll see you next week. Ruth, you'll see us, but you'll be well, watching. I'll be watching. You're yeah. on the other side of the camera. Yeah, love you all. Bye.